Uh, Dave, first of all, Daniela, probably the, the headline inclusion. What was the thinking on starting him ahead of uh, Alan? Yeah, well, look, um, there's not much between them, is there? But uh, I thought Taniella was massive off the bench. Um, gave us real ascendancy at scrum time, carried very well, and uh, yeah, deserves a crack to start. Um, we obviously, uh, yeah, I think we can get an edge in them at scrum time. Um, they were very good last week against the All Blacks. So, um, yeah, so Taniella's inclusion was important. The, yeah, the, the, there's been a lot of talk, and there always is a lot of talk about the Argentine scrum, but it feels like the Australian scrum has come a fair way in the last, well, since you guys started playing for a couple months ago. Is that how you feel as a coach? Yeah, look, obviously, um, Petrus did a fair bit of coaching from afar, which seems crazy, but uh, lots of one-on-one uh, -on -one videos going to individuals and um, a lot of learning from afar, but uh, it's been great having them in, and... Um, yeah, look, I think we were starting to see a lot of really good shifts and a lot of it's about the ability of our, our back five to scrummage well. Um, so, you know, we know it's an important part of a game and uh, an area that we need to be really strong in. On a similar note, Scott, but why did you opt with Scott? I suppose the, the veteran compared to the, the rookie Yankers. Yeah, obviously disappointing for slips. Um, you know, yeah, obviously 100th game last time and he's been outstanding. Um, He's a really good defender, um, obviously scrummage as well and, and, and strong leader. So, so we'll miss him, but um, you know, we left Scotty out and, and the reason was we, uh, we felt he lacked impact when he was coming into the game and we wanted more out of him. And uh, you know, ironically, we leave him out and that week his training was superb. He did everything that we'd been asking of him and he's trained well again in the past week. So uh, he, he gives us experience and um, yeah, look, and obviously Bally was very good off the bench and and uh, you know, he's a very good athlete, so I'd be looking forward to seeing him get on at some stage. And the other change in parking in Ned, just, just you seeing as a straight swap for, and obviously Lockie was quite good before he got that card. Is that you wanting to play that similar sort of aggressive sort of role? Uh, yeah, they're, they're slightly different players. I mean, what you know from Swinney, you know, you're going to get uh, a real edge. And look, I thought he was excellent for 35 minutes and... Uh, you know, he made an error and he's paying for it. So there's a bit of learning there, but, um, you yeah, know, Ned's probably a slightly different player, um, probably better with ball in hand and a better skill set, better line out forward. Uh, his challenge is to bring the same sort of aggression at the edge that, um, that Swinno bought. And just, just one more from me, given um, how well you guys played in Wellington, probably to lessen uh, Average performances in against New Zealand, and to have that week, how important is it now to put a second consecutive performance together? Yeah, well, look, it's massive for a lot of reasons. Um, look, there's been a lot of learnings. Uh, you know, I've, I guess I've been saying all along, we're, we're going to get better. It's um, boys are working hard, and and we saw evidence of that last test, and we need to take another step up now. Uh, well aware of you know how good Argentina were last week, and and um, but you know, look, it's. A yeah, chance for us to to show that we are um, developing and are getting better, and um, and you know a win would put us in a pretty strong position. Yeah, Dave, I was just wondering if you could uh, take us through what you see as the major differences between the All Blacks and, and uh, the Pumas. Um, oh, look, I think the Pumas are happy to play without the ball. Um, really dominated the kicking stats last week, which was surprising. I think twenty-eight sixteen. So. Uh, All Blacks held on to a lot of ball and made errors and and got punished. So, um, so you know we expect them to kick a lot to us uh, and then try and get a wall in front of us. So look, we've got a plan around that. Our kicking game needs to be sharp. Um, our ability to generate quick ball will be really important. And um, and then uh, you know discipline is going to be massive. Um, they're happy to go in threes and you know if. Um, if we make errors um, around discipline, uh, they can kick from a long way out or, or get their line out going and their drive going, which was pretty effective last week. I noticed you've, um, you've made a change at halfback. Uh, so Jake Gordon's come in, I presume, over, over Tate. I presume that's basically because of his superior kicking game, is it? Um, it's for a few reasons. Um, there's not much between those boys. Uh, certainly Jake's core skills are, are stronger. 
Uh, Tate's got a great running game and when a, when a game breaks up late, um, he's a real handful. So, uh, but look, Jake, Jake played pretty well in Auckland, um, his sort of 20 minute cameo and probably has been unlucky to miss out the last couple of weeks. Um, he's also got a good running game and look, he's trained really well, deserves another crack. And, uh, but look, he's, a, he's a reasonably big halfback. He's, uh, he's pretty powerful and, um, you know, like I say, with a good, with a good core skills. So uh, we think that'll be important against these guys. And the continuity of the back line, um, first time you've kept the same back line, how much does that help? Yeah, um, obviously we've had the odd injury, which has affected things, and then and then form um, some some three guys who have come from outside the squad and been training really well. And yeah, look, it's nice to put the same seven out um, or perform pretty well, and uh, combinations will be a little bit better. They've been training a lot together, and uh, so yeah, look, it, it helps. But um, yeah, look, look, it's it's nice, you know, we've. Um, We'll be able to um, get a little bit of consistency around that. Um, g'day Dave, um, just asking about Michael Checker being on the other side there. Uh, did you see much of, of Check's influence in the way that the team has uh, ran out against the Royal Blacks? And has he had sort of any uh, conversations amongst the Royal group, amongst the staff and players about the Checker factor? Uh, look, we haven't spoken about it. Um, now, I'm not. I'm not certain what his role is. I know he's um, he's come in as a, um, I, I guess, some form of specialist and chipping in and helping out where required. So, um, look, certainly there was a it was a really impressive defensive effort. So if he's had anything to do with that, he's done a good job. Um, they kicked the leather off the ball. Uh, I, I assume he didn't have a lot of influence in that.